Hello Year 3, so today's um, topic this afternoon is hopefully painting or potentially drawing a volcano, okay, it's to do a bit, a bit of art. Um, now I know this might not be as easy for some of you at home, but hopefully you'll be able to do, uh, to do at least something, even if it's just try, having a go at drawing a volcano. So this year, in Year 3, we want you to be able to use watercolours. Um, because it's a really, really cool technique and lots of artists are famous for using them. Some, some of the big name artists you might have heard of are Vincent van Gogh and Claude Monet. And on the screen here, you can see a few examples um, of watercolour pictures. So I'd like you to just think, what do you think of these pictures and how might you describe them? So if you just pause the video, just take a, take a minute or two and think how you might describe them. So hopefully you might you might like these these pictures. Some people don't don't like watercolors, but I personally do. And I think um, when I look at some of them, a few words spring to mind. So um, when you see this one over here, I feel it's quite dreamy. Um, it's quite misty, um, and yeah, it makes me feel quite calm looking at them. And this one down here just seems really really peaceful. And um, this one over here is really really colourful, and you can see buildings in the backgrounds. And again, particularly when you look at this one with water on, um, it's really calm and peaceful and I really love looking at the reflections in the water. So in order to use watercolours at home, you would need a watercolour set, some brushes, some thick paper or cards, because normal paper will be too thin. Um, so you do need either thicker paper or some card and then some water. So obviously you realise not everyone is going to have that at home. Don't worry at all if you don't have any watercolours at home because we will do some later this year when you are in school. So for today, uh, what you could do is just watch the video on the next slide about watercolours so you understand how they work and you see um, the techniques that you might want to use. And then later on in the slides, there's another video that shows you how you can draw a volcano. So you, all you would need for that is some paper and either just a pencil or a pen or something like that. Okay? Um, so this is a video about what watercolours can do. So if you go to the slide and click on the video, um, that will show you, uh, give you some examples of what you can do. So that's a nice one to watch. So yeah, your task is to create a volcano, hopefully using watercolours, but as I've already said, you can just draw one. Um, if you have any other materials at home, you can of course use them instead. If you've got like other paints or you want to do a collage, or anything like that, that's absolutely fine. So on the next, on this slide and the next slide, we've actually got uh, three examples on both pages of watercolour volcanoes. So I'd like you to think, what different colours can you see both on this page and on this page? Okay, what colours can you see? So you might just want to pause the video just for a minute or two. Okay, so hopefully you can see, obviously because it's volcanoes, you can see like lots of reds and oranges and yellows in all of them. Um, it's quite a lot of kind of dark colours like black and browns um, and even some greys. And actually in this one over here and on some of these, it's quite a lot of purple as well uh, in the background, which is quite cool. So lots and lots of different colours. So if you are able to do a watercolour volcano on the next, on this slide and the next slide, there's a little task planner for you to suggest what kinds of things you should do in the order. So the first thing to do would be to sketch an outline of your volcano on a new page, either in your sketchbook or on a piece of card or whatever you've got. Then you can start to think about what colours each part of your image will be. Then you're going to want to get your paintbrush a little bit damp. And then you can start painting with some of your darker colours first. It's always better to start with the darker colours. Um, you might want to do some blending of your colours together, like we saw in the video earlier. Um, and a big tip is don't get the paper too wet, otherwise it will rip. So if it looks like it's getting too wet, if I were you, I'd just leave it for a little bit to dry and don't put too much water on, okay? And then I look forward to seeing how you get on with those. So as I mentioned earlier, if you don't have any of those watercolours at home, this is a really, really cool video um, for you to try and follow along so you can draw your own, your own volcano. It's a guy who's a really talented artist. He's actually doing it um, with a younger child. So again, hopefully you can see how you are able to, to follow along for every step. So this video can be found in the slides for today um, and you can watch it there. Okay, I hope you have fun and I look forward to seeing some of your art.